All right, guys, back with another video on 4830s. Show you guys how to set up your boom spacing and nozzle spacing in the 2630. You'll wait for your screen to load here. That's going to be your home page for the sprayers. So you're going to want to go to calibration. Uh, excuse me. You're going to want to go to your settings page, your setup page. You want to click on boom setup, setup spray sections. And then this is the number of sections you have up here is based off of how many switches you have. I don't know if you can see that very well or not. And you have seven switches on the sprayer. So you have seven sections you can shut off and shut on. Turn off and turn on, excuse me. So once that readjust, you have to go through and count and make yourself a chart for how many nozzles you have on each section. And this sprayer has 20 inch row spacings. So you just go through and write it all down. Then you come up here and your screen and you can manually change it. So you want to go to the center section, hit the drop down. That's not wanting to focus. Click on center. And you can change it to whatever you have. Mine has six. We'll hit accept. We have 20 inch row spacing. Hit enter. And once you go through and set them all up, it should tell you how many feet of booms you have. On this sprayer I, uh, that I'm working on, I took it from 120 foot booms and I brought it down to 90 foot booms. So I had to just go through here and set all those up. Figured I'd show you guys a little quick check you guys can do out in the field if you have any problems or you take a sprayer apart and set up custom rows or make your own boom extensions. This would be the way you change that. Uh, any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Thanks. Have a good day.